Okay, so finally we've come to our last uh, exponential law and uh, this law is fairly simple to understand I think but actually uh, it seems like most students actually have a difficult applying it. Okay, it says when I have two powers with the same exponents this time it's different with the same exponents multiplied okay so I'm multiplying two powers together and they've got the same ex uh, exponents in other words I've got a base with an exponent and that's multiplying another base let's call that a with the same exponent so now we can see the exponents are the same then it says then the bases may be multiplied the bases may be multiplied okay in other words and obviously we keep the exponents then the same so the base times those two are multiplied whatever that a times b is and that now gets the exponent okay the alternative or actually the converse of this the converse of this is also true and even more important the converse means we are looking at it from this direction in other words when the base can be factorized okay so I've got a base and my base can break up into two into the product of at least two values one that is not one okay when the base can be factorized okay the exponent may be distributed to the exponent exponents of each factor okay so what does that mean well here's my base that can be factorized so I have a base let's call it B to the power of E but now I say my base can be factorized so I can break it up into two factors let's call that factor uh, A and C so instead of B I've got now A times C but it still has the exponent now what I can do is the exponent may be distributed to the exponent in other words I multiply it to the one and I multiply it to the one there so A to the power of E times C to the power of E now this is also true even if I had something like this let's say I had A to the power of of X and B to the power of Y and all of this is raised to the power of Z okay so I've got factors inside my base then my exponent for my base may be distributed to each exponent in the base so in other words A to the power of ZX times b to the power of z y now just so that you know this is not true if this wasn't factorized in other ways uh, in other words let's say I've got x plus 1 squared this is not equal to x squared plus 1 squared why not because I can't distribute the two and the reason why I can't distribute it is because these terms inside here that's the difference here here I've got a factorized base I've got factors inside and here I've got terms inside so that is the difference but let's quickly look at the proof why is this true why can I distribute it like that so let's take M and N rather I, I prefer M and N let's say I've got A to the power of M times A to the power of N and all of this is multiplied uh, C times 
okay sorry yeah, is raised to the power of c that's what i mean okay which means i've got a to the power of m times a to the power of n that's my first factor then i multiply again with a to the power of m times a to the power of n then i multiply again with a to the power and i do this for c times okay whatever c is a to the power of m times a to the power of n. Now you'll recall that we learned before that this, uh, multiplication is commutative, which means that I may swap things around as I want to. And all of these are simply factors. I'm simply multiplying the whole time. So whether I use a bracket to show my multiplication or, or that, it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do, that, sorry, this should be c times what I'm going to do is I'm going to just group all of the a to the power of m's. Okay, so I've got a to the power of m times a to the power of m. And how many of them am I going to have? Well, I've got brackets, c brackets. Each, c br uh, each bracket has a to the power of m. So that means I've got c, whatever c is, c times multiplying these. And then I've got a to the power of n times a to the power of n times, and this goes on also for c times because there's an a to the power of n in the bracket as well. Okay, so I just group, you can group things with brackets. Okay, so this is c times as well. Okay, so now I've got same bases with the same exponents but don't worry about multiplying the bases all I want to do now is say but when I've got same bases I can add up the exponents so how many m's am I going to add together well c or c c m's because there is c number of powers a to the power of m so this is c a to the power of c m because I'm going to m plus m plus m c times and then that's multiplied with this one which is a to the power of c n c times n because I'm going to add up c times n's together okay that might sound very confusing it, it sounds confusing on my side but I'm sure you are tracking me so far and and that was actually the rule that when I have a, a base and inside my base I've got multiple factors and these multiple factors have exponents themselves and the whole base is raised to another power then I can distribute it so this a to the power of cm that's what I have there